Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Marianne behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And, uh, honey, you know how they say sometimes about people that can't cut the mustard? Yeah. You heard that expression? Yes, I have. Well, not only can we cut the mustard, baby, we're going to make the mustard. How's that sound? Sounds good. So, we're going to do two very simple, easy, homemade mustard recipes and our food friends might ask is we might ask why would you make your own mustard when you can buy a bottle of it for a dollar or whatever it's not expensive uh, at the supermarket well why would we do anything right I mean right. why make a cake when you can go to a bakery and get it why do anything well because it's fun and because when you make it yourself mayor you know exactly what's in it yeah, and there are no preservatives in it there are no preservatives there are no gums or other kinds of things stabilizers thickeners um, in this recipe uh, so if you look at there are some very good mustards out there but if you look at some of the mustards just look at the ingredients there's there's all kinds of things in there so um, in some of them so we're gonna make our own very simple ingredients here we're gonna make two we're gonna make a traditional yellow mustard okay that I think we're all familiar with and we use a lot and then we're gonna make a darker beer mustard okay, okay. so uh, and they're both of these mustard recipes are non-cooking we don't have to cook anything there are some mustard recipes that require um, some time on the stove for the ingredients this is these are ones that don't require any of that so I just get to sit at the kitchen table and put this together so we're going to start with the mustard seeds so first of all you got to grind them up the best thing to use to grind up seeds of any kind is one of these little gizmos. This is really a coffee grinder. You can see it's a Mr. Coffee coffee grinder. This is an old one. I've had this for many years. And Marianne, this is one that I've kind of relegated to grinding spices and things, not coffee. I think it actually does a great job with with spices more so than coffee my own opinion um, but uh, we're going to use this if you wanted to really do it old school you could do um, you know what a, a mortar and pestle is yep, right with right. The, the bowl and yep. the thing and that's how they did it in the old days but we're not going to so we're going to start with our yellow mustard so for our yellow mustard mare, you need yellow mustard seeds. See these? Yeah. See, we've got two seeds here. Here's what we're going to, this is going to be for the beer mustard, which is the darker brown mustard seeds. Two things to note. One, the yellow seeds are just bigger, okay? They're a little bit larger than the brown seeds. But the brown seeds have got uh, a little bit more of a bite than the yellow seeds. So we're going to start by grinding these. Now, you can grind these into a pow fine powder if you kept the grinder going, and you'd end up with mustard powder, I think something that a lot of us are familiar with. And we're going to use mustard powder in the, both of these recipes but I don't want to grind it because I want the mustard to have a little texture. You've seen whole grain mustard, right, Mayor? Right. Well, that's where they don't grind the seeds at all, okay? Um, and then there's also kind of coarse mustard where they sort of grind the seeds a little bit. So we're going to um, do, I'm going to do this in batches and be careful with these mustard seeds because they're small and they like to bounce around. And... Um, so I'm going to put them in my grinder, and I'm going to get this going. And again, we don't we don't want to go quite to the powder stage, but we want a little bit of the body. So here, uh, Mayor, I'm going to 
I don't know, is the camera getting that? Yep. Okay. That's sort of where we're at. I'm going to let me do the next stage. So, Marianne, let me ask you a question. Mustard or mayo? It depends on what sandwich I'm having. Okay. You know, right, if you're having a BLT, you got to have mayo, right? Well, and there's some other sandwiches. I think that mayo is probably really the best choice. Um, but for me, uh, I'm a mustard guy, and I always have been, as you know, Mayor. Um, so, and I love mustards, all kinds. And the great thing about these recipes is you can augment these in any kind of creative way. You want to add a little herb? Add some herbs. Tarragon is lovely in this. You want to sweeten it up? Honey, you heard of honey mustard, right, honey? Right. You can add some honey to the mix. Um, you want it really spicy? Add some horseradish to the mix. You know, when you go to the store, you'll often see all kinds of mustards, like with different flavors. So you can do that. Okay. So, by the way, that was six tablespoons of mustard seed, which we have um, ground up. Okay. To that, I'm going to add one half cup of mustard powder. Okay. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of turmeric. Now, the turmeric does a couple things, Mary. You can probably guess one of them. It makes it yellow. It does. I mean, the seeds are kind of yellowish. They're sort of golden. But the turmeric is what gives yellow mustard that bright, yellow color um, and so let me just mix kind of mix all these things together um, but the turmeric also gives the uh, the a little flavor to the mustard um, uh, it gives a little bit of a bitter to the mustard um, by the way if you want to make your own mustard don't make it the day you want to use it because it's going to be too thin and it's going to be a little bitter and probably too hot spicy you want it to chill out and relax for at least 12 hours in the fridge 24 is better but at least 12 okay so at least with this recipe all right now mayor we need to put a liquid in here uh, and we're going to put two different liquids in but we're going to put in the first one first which is a half a cup of just water, okay? And we're going to stir this around. Now, I also have um, some apple cider vinegar. How much of that do I have? Three tablespoons. And I'm going to add that in a few minutes. But what we want to do first is we really want to stir and moisten those seeds the powder, the mustard powder, and our salt and pepper. And uh, it already smells like mustard. And sometimes, uh, it, depending on the kind of mustard powder you're using, you could do like an English style mustard, which is very sharp. Or, Mayor, what do I like at the Chinese restaurant? Hot mustard. Hot mustard. Uh, with my egg roll and that's made really with just mustard powder and usually some water and uh, it's very hot and it's usually that way because um, it was just recently made and it has a, it, 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 it will calm down and as time goes on okay I'm not putting the vinegar in yet we're gonna put this over here and just let that rest for about 10 minutes okay now, let's do our brown beer mustard. So, again, we've got six tablespoons of brown mustard seed. 
I'm going to get these ground up and in the bowl. But I'm going to tell you, and I'll show them when we come back, Mayor. I'm going to grind these very lightly. I want the beer mustard to not quite be whole seed, but I want it to be coarse. Okay? okay. We'll be right back. Okay. All right, Mayor, here. Here is, I don't know if, can the camera come in on that? Little, or can, can you make that out? A little bit. Okay. So this is how I ground it, okay? There are a few whole seeds in there, but I did it very coarsely. The yellow mustard I ground a little bit finer than this, but I really wanted, um, I want to see that brown color, okay, mm -hmm. in the mustard. Um, so, um, again, we are using a half a cup of mustard powder in this. And we are going to use only a half of teaspoon of turmeric. I don't want it that bright. And um, a teaspoon of salt. So, again, you know, you can, uh, you want to put a little garlic in there? Do it. Okay. Uh, this is a really fun and creative way um, to uh, make uh, a fun mustard, especially, you know what, if you're having people in the warm months, at least here in Michigan, when we have cookouts and we have, uh, you know, we're doing burgers and dogs and brats and all that fun stuff uh, on the grill, I can't tell you how ooh and ah people are when you put the condiments out, right? The relish, the pickles, the ketchup. And oh, by the way, here's a few homemade mustards you may want to try. They go crazy. All right. Now, did I say this was beer mustard? Yes. So you know what we need. Beer. So I've got a can of beer here. Now I only need a half a cup. So that's not a lot. I'm going to try to pour it without getting too much of a head. There we go. I did that pretty good. Now, what are we going to do with the rest of this beer, Mayor? Might as well drink it. Might as well drink it. So, because this is all part of the fun of making beer mustard. So... Mm, to our food friends. Again, use whatever beer you like. Um, you can use a light, lighter beer like, like what I've got here. If you wanted to use a more stout, kind of an ale, something like that, IPA. Knock yourself out. Okay. Now, we've got the beer in there and our seasonings and our mustard powder and our mustard seed and I'm going to stir that around and get that blended and again I'm going to do the same thing I did with the yellow mustard uh, we're adding white vinegar to this smear rather than apple cider vinegar okay um, again that's the other thing you could play with the kind of vinegar you like to add into your mustard. A uh, lot of good choices there. Be creative. That's what being in the kitchen is all about. All right, so you see what we got here? And you can see how loose this is. But um, tomorrow it will have thickened up more to the consistency of the mustard we're used to using, okay? But all right, um, I'm going to put that aside. I'm making note of the time. We'll come back and we'll get our uh, mustards added up with their vinegar. And uh, we're going to put them in some nice uh, glass jars and get them in the fridge. And we will have made just that easily two different kinds of homemade mustards. We've let this go for oh about 15 minutes or so and you can see it has thickened up some but we're not done 
we got to add our vinegars. So to our yellow mustard, we're going to add some apple cider vinegar here. How much? Three tablespoons. And let's work that in. And you got to have, you know, the vinegar does a lot of things, but it also you've, gives it that acidic sort of bite that mustard has. Isn't that pretty, though? Yeah. So that's very much the turmeric uh, at work there on that mustard. So, yeah. Smells great. Again, it will be very hot at this time. Okay. I've got a, a jar here, mason jar. So what I'm going to do is I find that this is the best. Uh, you could put it in a plastic container also. Uh, I would advise against putting it in anything aluminum. Glass really is almost always the best choice for this. So if you've got an old jar, it doesn't have to be a mason jar, but you've got an old. Remember when mustard used to come in a jar? Yeah. I mean, now it's all in these plastic little squeeze things. Um, but yeah, when we were kids, mustard was always in a jar, wasn't it? Yeah. That's kind of how I remember it. All right. So here's our yellow mustard. And we'll, my hands are clean. We'll put that there. Done. Now, to our beer mustard. I'm still enjoying. We're going to add three tablespoons of white vinegar. And we're going to stir that in. And that will that will dilute it. This is beautiful looking to me. This would be so great with some nice pre um, of those warm pretzels, right? The soft pretzel yeah. with mustard. Oh my gosh, delicious. All right. So we've got that stirred around and I've got another mason jar and we will get that in here. I find I make less of a mess with a wide mouth mason jar. But you still make a mess. Well, I, yes, that just, it goes with the territory with me. Okay. But we want to get all that in there. By the way, also, um, you know, a nice, uh, if you're somebody who likes to make gifts for people, uh, something homemade, you know, um, you know, come over to somebody has you over for dinner or for a barbecue or whatever it might be, Ooh, bring a jar of uh, homemade mustard over and uh, the host or hostess will be very appreciative. Okay, there's our beer mustard and here's our yellow mustard. They're going in the refrigerator uh, for at least 12 hours. So we'll be back tomorrow, Mayor, and give these things a little taste try. Well, sis, it's been, you figured it out, how many hours? 22 hours. 22 hours, okay. So um, I think long enough that we've had our mustards setting up in the fridge this is our kind of classic yellow and this is our beer mustard um, we used the 
regular yellow mustard seeds for this mare, and this one we made with the brown mustard seeds. So, it smells like mustard. They have different aromas, um, both mustardy, but what I'm going to do, Mare, is I'm going to put some mustard on each plate here of each variety so we can show our friends. And again, it's thickened up nicely. Can we see that? Yeah. Pretty good. So here's our yellow, and here is our brown or beer mustard that we made. So what I'm going to do is let me just just taste the mustard itself. Mm. Wow. Sharp. A little pungent strong very English style now I will tell you as this mustard stays in the refrigerator the heat level you know one being no heat and ten being like super wasabi hot is probably um, six seven maybe at the most it will diminish over time um, and it will continue to mellow right now it has a nice bite a sharpness to it and I'm gonna you know we were talking yesterday Mayor, how good this would be on a pretzel well I don't have any nice big soft pretzels but let's mm, try it with a big pretzel good Very good. Okay. Yeah. And, oh, that would be so good on a burger or a brat or a hot dog. I'm gonna let me cleanse here. We'll go to the beer mustard. Mayor, I don't know if you remember how this whole mustard thing even started. It was brother boy. Yeah. Right. Right. Greg, our brother who has gotten into making mustards and was telling me about it and thought it would be a good episode. So, you know what, Greg? I'm glad you, you did and you talked me into it because this is great. All right, now I'm going to try. This one, I did not grind. The mustard seeds is fine. So it's, there's a lot of whole mustard um, seed in here and a lot of just rough um, kind of coarsely cracked mustard seed in here. I guess I should try it the same way, just on its own first. Wow. Hot. That really packs a punch. But I'm getting a little of the beer. Um, and I used a fairly light, um, what I would call easy drinking sort of beer, what I, which is what I usually have on hand. This is hotter and sharper than the yellow. And I think I might have mentioned, Mary, yesterday that the brown seeds generally are, I think, hotter than the yellow seeds but we're going to put it on a pretzel here. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. This right now might even be, be too hot for you, Missy. I'll tell you that because okay. I know, I know your tolerance. I can handle it, but I think in a couple more days, this will tone down a little bit. Again, we didn't want to wait that long. Um, 
but if you like your mustard strong and with a little sharp heat, wait, wait a day and indulge and enjoy because that's where it's at right now. So, anyways, this was the mustard show. So, thank you for um, spending some time as we made these very simple homemade mustards here on Cavalcade of Food. Um, recipes are below the video uh, in the description. And uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you are so inclined. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. And Omer, let's tell them about the website. Cavalcadeoffood.com. Cavalcadeoffood.com. She is correct. And I'll thank my kid sister for working the camera today. You're welcome. And Mayor will thank our food friends for hanging out with us as we made a couple of very simple but different homemade mustards. Okay. Um, I hope everybody's warm and well, and we'll see you again soon right back here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Bye.